Hello friends, welcome back on SciExpo. I am Dr. Ravindra Donde. In today's video, I am going to show you how to analyze population genetic using PopGen software. This video will be will show you deployed dominant marker data analysis by PopGen. So, any further ado, let's get started. If you not yet subscribe SciExpo, do subscribe SciExpo. You will get similar videos and actual data analysis training in future. Now let's jump into the Microsoft Excel worksheet where you're going to prepare the data sheet for deployed dominant data analysis. As I mentioned earlier, the first four lines are the information about the, your data files. So first one is title, second one number of populations, number of loci and locus names. And followed to by followed by name of the populations. Okay. So here we can use so genotypes are in rows and uh, your locus are in are in columns so here you can say here is the one genotype you just have for information i'm going to add here one insert columns so this is a geno one genotypes one having uh, four having three allele let's imagine three allele then geno four geno two having four alleles right then geno 3 let's imagine having 5 alleles geno 4 having 4 alleles okay, this is our initial data types genotypes are in the columns so even geno specific marker produces specific um, bands according to uh, specific alleles according to genotypes right so in, in that case genotypes will be in the columns means here in this position and in in this position and the, these uh, markers are in the row wise in the specific For that case, see how to change these things. This is a basic workflow for deployed dominant RFID data sheets. So, as I mentioned earlier, first four lines are in the information about the data types. So, first one is the title, second with number of population, number of loci, and uh, followed by number of locus names. So, here locus names are in the columns, and uh, you are Genotypes are in the rows. Genotypes are in the rows. See, each genotype having one columns, right? So, so for this uh, PopGen software, it doesn't uh, it it does not affect use as a genotypes this column for the analysis. So we are going to delete these columns and keep this just information, genetic information of each genotypes. So it's a uh, differentiate within population names, and uh, we are now let's jump into the popgen here i am going to delete this column for the this in uh, popgen file format information now let's uh, select the data all data make sure it's selected and make it copy and let's send it to the popgen Now I'm going to create new data sheet for PopGen dominant marker deployed deploy data analysis. This is the text editor. Now I'm going to paste here data so, and the data will save the file in our you are working directory. So my working directory in E PopGen. Okay, and give name name to directory. Dominant, dominant, deployed, R A P D data, dominant deployed data, right? 
Now I'm going to click OK. Now it's minimize this one. Now I'm going to load data. So dominant marker data. Click on dominant marker. Now I'm going to select dominant deployed RFP data. Click OK. Now data your data will be loaded. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 21. And these things. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 here. Here. This information is not uh, that much uh, present in the remaining uh, this uh, low size and six low size. So let's see what kind of analysis we're going to do. It's going to be dominant deploy data. Yeah, I'm gonna click here on the variable as a column. Add in your equilibrium, and you can, if you're interested to add in your equilibrium, you can click here. Then it's a multi population data and intrinsic polymorphic. You click all these things. It's more okay see yeah this is some mistake is there so after the first line you should enter the line like number of population number of populations see here is a yes is a missing so i want to change that one first yes is a missing here so be careful about your first four lines so number of population number of flow size now i'm going to save this one Deploy dominant deploy wrong data file current active data file doesn't match Upload the data file dominant deploy. Your current active data file doesn't match the action. Okay. Printing dominant deploy. And the so I'm going to. I'm going to call it these things. I'm going to delete these populations from the data sheets. So it will be equal as a locus name. So from the 28, I'm going to delete and keep it as a 20. Okay, it's much. So make sure that your data types should be correct. Before doing, I'm going to change this one. It's a 20 population, 20, 20 number of low size. This is 20. All right, now I'm going to save this one and copy it, copy it, and paste it in the object your data file. I'm going to delete, I'm going to delete this one, create new one, and paste it here. And now I'm going to data as RFID okay I'm going to replace it yes now I'm going to open new and as dominant marker deploy data analysis tab current active data file does not match your action what is wrong with this one okay where is it what's missing save Deployed data, RAPD data set number of populations. I'm going to yes. 
to entertain all population for further analysis. Oh, yes, number of simulation for nuclear test time went to thousands. This is your analysis result, right? So, it is in the work and data. So, two population only between two population, it should be shows that genetic diversity is and uh, there is correlation between each population or so similarities and dissimilarities the linkage is linear and uh, neutrality test between each population and using the 20 loci suppose if you want to if that data is not correct then i think let's uh, check that this information let's see now here is the data is there still data is there but you see there is no data I will just take off copy it make another data sheets okay now I'm going to uh, this one is going to say automatic over there in the dominant deploy RFD RST format in your working directory now I'm going to delete this one and create new data sheet right and I'm going to save this data sheet as a RFD RAPD second and click OK. Okay, remember this one. Now I'm going to load your data. It's a dominant RAPD second. Click OK. Now your data is loaded in the option. I'm going to dominant deploy. I'm selecting here multi populations. Into forever plus sign. Paint one, bin center, alley number, population, and baby. Okay, yeah, here is some missing here information as I previously mentioned. I forgot to change that one. Populations, right? I will save this one. Further population analysis. Yes, do you want see population one individual has incorrect number of plus signs? See here is a error, right? So make sure that your population on both sides should be equal in each population types right so this will be not going to analyze so i hope you guys understand and uh, let's jump into your working directly what is going on over there so we created the this is to one more second one so not so see your data tree is created here in the working directory and this is your data types and this is your result of your data sheets just click on the it will get result of your analysis what you did in the pop gene right so this will be useful for in future for your study purpose and your analysis purpose so i hope you guys understand this one and uh, let's uh, jump in this is a tree if you click double click it will open in mega software and if here you can edit and read it as per your need and you can fill your colors and uh, patterns and the different types of trees like circular rectangular and just like normal tree you can do it from here right my I hope you will understand the deployed dominant marker data analysis. Next video series, I will get hands on dominant marker applied data analysis. Don't forget to subscribe SciExpo. You will find similar videos on the channel. Thanks for watching SciExpo.